information breaking today about the death of Barbara Howe. Prosecutors say Daniel French lured her into a trap and that Howe was not the only person targeted in that scheme. 87-year-old Barbara Howe was murdered two years ago. Her body stuffed in the trunk of a car in Middletown. Nine on your side reporter Tom McKee has more on what police have learned. Tom. Well, basically, Prosecutor John Mike Mosher here says that uh, basically French was a con man. What he did at the retirement community where Barbara Howe lived was he called up residents saying he was a maintenance man and there were problems with the alert systems. Those are those alert systems that are used to notify emergency authorities in case of a medical problem. Well, there were no medical problems, but Barbara Howe apparently fell to his uh, scheme and was ended up uh, being murdered and disappeared and found a body of her was found in a trunk just a few days later. Now, of course, in court today, French was dressed in a green prison outfit. He was chained at hands and feet, led into the Butler County Common Pleas courtroom. Quite a contrast with his gray hair and gray beard. He'd been extradited from Rockcastle County, Kentucky, to face charges of aggravated murder, aggravated robbery, aggravated burglary, tampering with evidence, and abuse of a corpse in, corpse in Barbara Howe's death. Two attorneys have been appointed to represent French, but they did not enter a plea until they have more time to meet with their client. Now, the Butler County prosecutor argued that no bond be set in this case, and what happened was that uh, Judge McElfresh set a $5 million bond. A hearing is going to be held in a couple of days. His attorneys want more time to study how they're going to respond to that request. Tom McKee, not on your side, live in Hamilton. All right, Tom, thank you.